Hey y'all, welcome back to Leslie's Mature Makeup and Beauty. Today we're going to do a little skincare update. This will be my six month anti-aging skincare journey update. Uh, before we get started though, I do want to apologize for missing my Sunday upload. I had a couple of family emergencies that came up last week and I just could not get, I just couldn't get anything up. So, um, for those of you out there who are praying people, just pray for my family, please. Um, I would really appreciate it. And before we get started with anything, I do want to say, um, I'm not a dermatologist nor an esthetician or any of those things. So before you start on any kind of an anti-aging skincare regimen, please consult one of those qualified professionals. I'm just sharing with you my results and what's been working for me. So first thing I'm going to do is insert some photos here. And this first photo, you can see the one where my skin is much darker, more ruddy looking. This was from uh, back in May, probably beginning part of May. Um, and then the second one was just at this last part of November because I started my tretinoin on May the 21st and I took my second photo November, you know, 22nd or 3rd, somewhere in that neighborhood. So it had been six months that I'd been using the tretinoin. And I do have a couple of other actives that I have thrown in and we're going to go over all of that stuff uh, once I get these photos down. But you can see my... My color is a ton better. You know, some of that is just going to be due to using sunscreen every single day, which I was not doing before. Um, and then, of course, you know, the actives I've been using has also contributed to the brightening of my complexion. But you can see, you know, my 11s, my forehead lines, even my under eye wrinkles are a little bit better. Lip lines are a fuzz better, but, you know, I still do terrible things like smoking. Chin line is a little bit, uh, my chin wrinkle it's a little bit softer. My neck, I think, looks a ton better. I was actually, there's a kind of spendier cream that I've been using on my neck, um, and I was going to stop using that until I took this picture, and I thought, no, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing because my neck looks so much better. That was actually one of the big things that got me started doing my skincare was because I felt like my neck looked 20 years older than the rest of me. Um, but I just feel like overall my complexion's brighter, my age spots and freckles are a little bit lighter. My wrinkles are softer. And this is just six months. So I'm excited to see, you know, kind of what the future holds once I've been doing this even longer than six months. And six months is kind of that magic time frame when you're supposed to start seeing results from tretinoin. So after this update, we'll probably wait. You know, I may not do another one until I'm a year in. But I was just super excited to share this with you guys because I do feel like I have gotten some good results and I'm just excited about my progress. And, you know, that is one of the reasons I started my channel was to be able to share, you know, kind of my anti-aging skincare journey and, you know, just play with makeup and have fun with you guys. So now we're going to get started on what I've been using. Um, I'm just going to kind of go through my routine, like what I do in the morning and then what I do in the evening. I do a double cleanse at night, so I don't wash my face in the morning. When I get up in the morning, I just, after I've had my coffee, wipe my face off with a, a damp washcloth or wash rag, um, or if you've got, you know, something that you like to clean your face with. I just do plain water, you know, just kind of like get the sleep out of my eyes and just, you know, kind of refresh myself a little bit. And then the first thing I do after that, if my face needs to be a little bit more damp, because when you put your serums and things on, especially if they have hyaluronic acid in them, you want to make sure your skin is damp for better absorption. Now that does not count for tretinoin, but we'll talk about that in a minute. But I've got a couple of sprays that I use if, um, you know, my face doesn't feel damp enough. This one is from 4th Ray Beauty. That's ColourPop's like sister brand. This is the Do It Hydrating Hyaluronic Mist. It smells like cucumbers, which is kind of a nice, light, refreshing scent. This is a four, a little over four ounces that in this bottle. And I've had this for several months. And this retails for $12. And then I also have one from Milani. This is their supercharged revitalizing I probably can't talk today facial mist it's got ginseng and citrus extracts this is a two ounce bottle it smells very citrusy and orangey so it's a real kind of wake you up smell um, and this retails for ten dollars 
And I'm not sure how much I've got left in this. And like I said, I just kind of alternate whichever one I'm feeling. This one feels like it leaves my face a little more damp versus the fourth ray, but I don't know if that's just the mister or if it's the actual product itself, but either one of these I like. And if you don't want to use a mist, you can just take, you know, just dampen your hands with just a little bit of water just so that your skin is moist. Um, Cause it, like I said, it helps, it helps your products absorb. And then the next thing I go in with in the morning is my timeless vitamin C serum. This is the 20% vitamin C. Um, it has ferulic acid and vitamin E. The ferulic acid and the vitamin E in this helps to helps the absorption of the vitamin C. And vitamin C, um, it helps brighten. It helps protect, protect against pollutants and free radicals. And this one does smell like hot dog water, just FYI. When you first get it, when you get it, it should be a pretty clear formula. L-ascorbic acid or ascorbic acid is the only vitamin C that's been proven to do anything scientifically. It is a, like an unstable, I don't, when I say unstable, I don't mean it's going to blow up, but you, you can't just keep this stuff around forever. If you have a little refrigerator that you can keep it in or just keep it in your kitchen fridge, it will last longer. Um, but it should be a clear consistency as it gets a little bit older, it'll start turning a little bit orangey. And like I said, this one does smell like hot dog water, but it dissipates quickly. Vitamin C can be a little bit irritating. Um, and I know Timeless does make, it's either a 10 or a 15%, but I can't remember which it is. Um, I always just use the 20. I don't have sensitive skin. Um, so this one works good for me. Oh, before I go any further, I am 41. My skin is mostly normal. Prior to May of this year of 2021, I did not take good care of my skin. I spent a lot of time in the sun with no sunscreen. I might have whacked on a little bit of lotion here or there, and I probably just washed my face with soap. Um, you know, I just did not make much of an effort, but I started really noticing like the age in my neck and my, you know, just my wrinkles. I was just looking older than I felt, older than I felt I should look at 41. So that's kind of part of the reason I started on all of this. Um, but anyway, back to the vitamin C, brightening really helps, um, you know, your discoloration, your age spots, you know, I've got quite a few and I've always, I've had freckles for a long time. I don't think those are ever going to go away, but they have lightened a good bit since I'm using sunscreen. And then combining your vitamin C with your sunscreen, and I don't mean mixing them together in your hand, but using both those products together, um, has been shown to be more effective at neutralizing free radicals than just your sunscreen by itself. But that doesn't mean that you can just use vitamin C and not use sunscreen. That's not that's not really an option. If you're not going to use sunscreen, I wouldn't even bother putting any money into any kind of skincare because when you go outside and get in the sun, you're just undoing everything that you have done, you know, with your active ingredients. But I said all that to say this is my first uh, real step in my morning skincare, skincare routine is my timeless vitamin C. And you'll notice I have several timeless products here. Um, you know, this video is not sponsored. I paid for all this stuff with my own money. I just think they're good products. I watched um, a good bit of Angie Hot and Flashy here on YouTube, and she does a lot of research, like very diligent research, and I kind of adopted a lot of her skincare routine because I saw her before and after photos, and it was just amazing, you know, what you can do with some at-home skincare. Um, so that's my first step is my vitamin C. I just get the one ounce bottle. They do sell a larger bottle, but I just use this once a day in the morning and this bottle, this one ounce bottle will last me about two months and it retails for $26.95. And you know, like I said, you don't want to keep this just hanging around forever because it's, it's not a super stable ingredient and it does need to be in an opaque container because if light gets to it, it, um, kind of disintegrates the product. So just something to keep in mind with your vitamin C. And if it's not ascorbic or L-ascorbic acid, and it's L-A-S-C-O-R-B-I-C is what's in this one. And then, you know, just ascorbic acid. Like I said, those two are the only ones that have been proven scientifically, like lab study type things to actually do something. So just keep that in mind when you're purchasing a vitamin C product. And Timeless you can get online, and I think they may, 
I just purchased it from the Timeless website. They have sales quite often. Um, so my last two purchases I've made while they were having a sale. But I think you might be able to, to get that online at Target. I'm not sure if they have it in store. I don't have a local Target here. So just something to keep in mind. So that's my vitamin C. That's my first step. And then my next step that I go in with is the CoQ10 Serum, also from Timeless. This is also a one ounce bottle, retails for $26.95. Now this one can separate, so you do wanna shake it up. It's kind of a yellow, milky consistency. It doesn't really have a scent. This actually feels really nice, kind of hydrating. They call this one the Defender. Now they do have, um, this has Matrixel 3000 in it, and you can get just a plain Matrixel 3000 Serum but it's the same price as this one and you get the CoQ10 with it. So um, the CoQ10 is good for rebuilding collagen and elastin and then your Matrixel 3000, it has 8% of that in this, this one and that helps with collagen synthesis. And since they call this one the Defender, that's why I use it in the morning. You know, it's supposed to help, um, you know, defend your skin. But just make sure you shake this one up. So I've got my vitamin C, then I go in with my CoQ10 next. And I don't wait in between steps. I just kind of rapid fire everything on. Um, it's all going to get absorbed anyway. Well, there's one thing that I do wait to dry, but we'll talk about that, that at my, my nighttime routine. So after my CoQ10, then I go in with my moisturizer. And I have really been loving this e.l.f. Holy Hydration. This has got hyaluronic acid and peptides in it. And this is the one that does have fragrance, but it's it's just a nice kind of clean fragrance it doesn't it's not strong there's nothing for, I'm not one who is prone to get my skin doesn't really get irritated a whole lot I don't really have sensitive skin my neck can be a little more sensitive than my face but um, either way I think this is a really nice daytime moisturizer and it in the summertime I can use this at night as well but in the winter my skin tends to get a little bit drier so I do have something that's just a little more moisturizing for nighttime but this retails for $12, and I have had this particular container since um, September the 19th. So what is this? We're going about two, a little over two months, and I've, I've still got a little bit left in here. I do have a backup already. So this lasts a good little while. Like I said, I just use this in the morning. So in the morning, I've dampened my face. I've got my vitamin C, my CoQ10, my moisturizer, and then your most important step, sunscreen. I, for my everyday sunscreen, these are this, these are both the same. They're just different tints. I can only do a mineral sunscreen on my face. If I do a chemical sunscreen, it burns my eyes. It irritates my eyelids. And then if I get chemical sunscreen on my neck where I have those um, horizontal lines, if I get outside and get sweaty, it kind of settles into those lines and it burns and it will cause my skin to get super red and irritated. So I like to have a all mineral sunscreen for my face and neck but this is my everyday one it's the australia gold botanical it's got titanium dioxide and zinc oxide these are tinted they are a matte finish so if you have super super dry skin i don't know if you'll love these um like i said my skin's mostly normal but i do have to make sure i use a moisturizer with this particular sunscreen i have one here that i'm going to show you in a second it's more expensive but I can get away with not using a moisturizer with that sunscreen. But you can see the difference in the tints. This is the light and this is the medium to tan. When I first purchased um, this particular sunscreen, I was more tan than I am now. So this medium shade is a little too deep for me. So right now I've just been mixing these two together just to use up this one because I don't want to... I don't want to hang on to this forever because I'm probably not going to be tan again. So I've been mixing these two just to use these up. And you can see... I'm about done with this one, but I've got another backup. And this actually does come, it's got, you've got your fair to light, your light to medium, or your medium to tan, and then they do a, a deeper tone of this one as well if you have a deeper skin tone, just something to keep in mind. And this retails for like $15.99. You can get it, I can't buy it in store at my Walmart, I can get it online, but it's actually cheaper at Ulta than it is at Walmart online in my area. So just something to keep in mind. I did <laughs> probably think I'm crazy. I did send them an email to be like, hey, have y'all thought about making like a satin finish instead of just the matte finish? Because I think that would be really pretty, like a more natural, more natural finish. But 
you know, this matte finish, I think it kind of blurs the pores a little bit. And a lot of times if I'm just going to run out to the store or something, I'll just put on my tinted sunscreen and a little mascara, maybe a dab of blush and some lip gloss and I'm good to go. And then one of the others that I like, this is on the more expensive side. If I'm going to use a super matte foundation um, or a foundation that's a little more drying like the, uh, the L'Oreal Serum Foundation, you know, that dries down kind of quick. Um, the Elta MD, this is the UV Elements Broad, Broad Spectrum SPF 44. This one is even safe for post-procedure skin. This is more expensive. Um, I think on Elta MD's website, it retails for somewhere around $40 or $44, but I have found it. I actually purchased mine on Walmart.com for like $36, and this is uh, two ounces, whereas the Australia Gold is three ounces. And, you know, when you're using sunscreen every day, you know, I can't afford this for every day. And then sometimes if my skin feels a little bit dry, I might mix a little of the Elta with the Australia Gold. It's tinted as well, and it's it's a pretty light, it's a pretty light tint as well. But this one is more, you can see the color there. It's more hydrating. And the tint really, it doesn't give you like a, a makeup-y look. It just keeps the, uh, and you can see how it kind of hydrates. Just keeps you from having that white cast from the zinc oxide. Because I think this one may be just zinc, or am I lying? Now this one is also zinc and titanium dioxide, but either of these are good options, I think. I just prefer the Australia Gold, one for the price, and two for the, um, the LTMD is just a little too glowy for me. I prefer that kind of a matte finish. I even prefer a matte finish in my foundation, so, you know, there's that. So that's my morning time routine. The last thing you do should always be your sunscreen. And when you layer your serums, you want to go from thinnest to thickest, then your moisturizer, then your sunscreen. And then at nighttime, I do a double cleanse. And for about a week, I was having, um, I had several breakouts around my chin. Y'all probably saw them in one of my videos. And I wasn't sure if it was maybe hormonal. You know, since I had a hysterectomy, I don't really know. I mean, I still have my ovaries, so could it have been hormonal? Maybe. But I also thought, because I was trying, I've been trying out a couple of different cleansing oils, I thought maybe it was one of those. So for the past week, week and a half, I've just been using the Neutrogena Ultra Light Cleansing Oil and the Neutrogena Cleanser. Um, and my breakouts have cleared up, so... I'm going to give this a couple of more days and then I'm going to retry this other one that I'm fixing to show you and see if that was causing the breakout or if it was just, you know, like I said, something hormonal or something. But this is the, the Neutrogena Ultra Light Cleansing Oil. It smells like a chewy spree. No. Yes, a chewy spree. It smells really good. And then this Neutrogena Hydra Boost Hydrating Cleansing Gel. This is my step two in my two-step cleanse. This cleansing oil retails for $7.98 and it's four ounces. And then the cleansing gel is $8.17 and it's six ounces. And this one is really light. It doesn't leave my skin dry. It's lighter even than you can kind of tell consistency wise from the Palmers. It's just a little bit thinner. But when you use a cleansing oil, you want to apply it to dry hands and apply it to your dry face and just massage it all over. You know, make sure you get all your your makeup and sunscreen off and then once you've got it all rubbed in well you just rinse with water and this will emulsify and just rinse away and then you go in with your second cleanse I was using um, this one does not seem to remove my mascara quite as well as the DHC cleansing oil did but that DHC was like $28 I want to say so it's a little bit spendier so I kind of been on the hunt for another cleansing oil or cleansing balm that will remove my mascara well and not break the bank. So this one I also used from, tried this one from Palmer's. This is their skin therapy cleansing oil. And like I said, I'm going to try this one again and see if it was this that was causing the breakout. But this one smells like roses. It's the only thing I don't like about this. Same, you know, same thing as that. Use it on a dry face with dry hands. It just I love to have roses in my flower beds, but I don't love the smell of roses, which once you rinse it off, it's gone. I can tolerate it, you know, for that little bit of time, but it's just not my favorite. But this one retails for $12.25, and it's like six and a half ounces. 
Price wise between this one and the Neutrogena, you know, with the difference in the size, they were pretty close. There was just, you know, a little bit of change difference as far as, you know, per ounce. And then in the summertime, I will sometimes use this CeraVe or CeraVe foaming facial cleanser for normal to oily skin. This was recommended on the Curology website. This just can dry my skin out a little bit. Now, if it's summertime and I tend to get a little bit more oily, especially like in the T-zone, you know, I don't mind this. This is like a 12 ounce bottle and it retails for like $10.90. So, you know, it's super cheap, but it just dries my skin out a little bit. So if you have super oily skin, you might like this. But if you're a drier skin girl, I don't know that I would recommend this. Now, they do have different, um, you know, different versions of this one. So, and you know, it's got your ceramides and niacinamide and hyaluronic acid in it. But as far as a cleanser go, having actives in it, I could go either way. I don't feel like it's on your skin long enough to make a difference as far as active ingredients go. So, you know, you could just leave it out and charge me a few bucks less and I'd be happy. But those are the cleansers that I kind of rotate through. And like I said, I'm going to give this Palmer's another go. And if I do have a breakout again, I'm going to chunk that one. And I will let y'all know like in a monthly faves and fails type thing, you know, like in December at the end of this month or something. And I may just do kind of a yearly roundup, but... Anyway, um, I'm rambling. That's the start of my nighttime skincare routine. I do all that in the shower, and then once I get out, when my face is dry, I go in with my Curology. This is my Tretinoin prescription. Curology is an online dermatology service. Your first month, you can get for $4.95, which is what I did to try it out, and I liked it, so I thought I'm just going to keep going with it. Um, this is a two-month supply in this bottle they automatically ship it to you and it's i believe 39.95 yes 39.95 for two months um, what you do though when you sign up for this you'll go online you'll fill out your questionnaire on the curology website you'll upload some mug shots you know front and then side to side you'll you know tell them about your skin type your concerns and all that stuff and then a dermatologist will get with you and create your custom prescription and it has three active ingredients in it Right now, my tretinoin is at 0.009%. My next bottle that will be coming, you know, mid-December, I am going to increase the tretinoin because I've been tolerating everything well, so, you know, I want to bump it up. Mine also has tranexamic acid at 5%, niacinamide at 4%. And, you know, tretinoin is your gold standard for anti-aging, for, um, you know, wrinkle reduction. It helps with cell turnover. It helps with your, um, you know, collagen production, all that good stuff. And then the tran exemic acid that's in this also brightens and helps reduce um, the appearance of scarring. And then the niacinamide, it's an antioxidant, so it helps. Um, it's an anti-inflammatory, of course, anti-aging, and it helps to trigger collagen production. Your tretinoin, you do want to apply to a dry face. If you find you've started using tretinoin, prescription tretinoin, and it's irritating to your skin, you can put your moisturizer on and let that sink in for like 20 minutes and then go in with your tretinoin. And you know, any type of a retinoid is going to be your anti-aging kind of gold standard. And like over the counter, you can get retinol, which is kind of the low man on the totem pole. And then you can get retinaldehyde, which is the next step up from that. And then your next step is your prescription tretinoin. Um, I did use an over-the-counter retinol for a little while before I started the Curology, and I saw a little bit of a difference, but it wasn't huge. But um, but I really like Curology. I don't have to worry about it. You just type them up a quick message if you have any concerns, questions, you want to you know change your formula, and they get back to you within a couple of days. And you know I, you upload photos every so often. Usually, if I have asked for an increase in my strength, I think I've done it couple of times maybe I always upload photos with my little message so that they can see you know kind of where I'm at how my skin's looking and I've really enjoyed the service I think it's great you know it saves me from going to the dermatologist paying a $40 copay and then going to the pharmacy and picking up a prescription that would cost who knows how much because I don't foresee my insurance paying for you know anti-aging skincare and you know if you have problems with acne or anything they can put stuff in your formula for that. Um, so I just, I don't know. I think it's a good service. I'll, I've been loving it, um, and I'm going to continue using it. But like I said, that's my first step in my nighttime routine. And then after that, I go in 
with another timeless serum. This is my Matrixel Scent 6. This has the Matrixel 3000, which is supposed to work kind of like a, uh, kind of like a, a retinol type, type situation, but it's, it's more of a more gentle alter alternative to a retinol, but you can use these with your tretinoin. And this retails again for $26.95. It's, um, a one ounce ball as well. And this one they call the Restorer because the Matrixel Scent 6 it's a polypeptide that targets wrinkles, helps restore firmness, improves elasticity, and repairs damaged skin. And this one is just a clear, completely clear serum. No, um, no odor to this one. You don't have to shake this one, whereas, you know, with the CoQ10, it can separate, so you do need to shake that one. So that's my second step. And again, same price. Lasts me about two months. Um... But once I kind of added in, you know, my vitamin C and then I added in the two serums, I really saw an improvement in, you know, my skin, which, you know, of course I was still using my tretinoin at that time. So it could have been, could be either one, but I'm liking the results I'm having. So I'm just going to continue using all of this stuff. And once you break it down to a per month cost, I mean, yeah, I'm spending a little money, but I think it's worth it to me because I feel better about my, how my skin looks. So I've got my, my nighttime, I've got my tretinoin, then I've got my serum, and then I go in with my moisturizer. For my face, I have been using for nighttime this Olay Regenerist Night Recovery Cream. It's got a lot of good ingredients in it. I cannot remember everything that's in here. For whatever reason, they don't put the ingredients on the bottle. But this is a 1.7 ounce jar, and this runs you like $23.88. I have had this particular jar since like October the 16th. And I'm maybe a little over halfway. This is fragrance free. There's absolutely no scent at all. And I love the way this makes my face feel. This makes my face feel like absolute velvet. And it's just a little bit more hydrating than the e.l.f. So that's why I use this at night. Um, and it's purple. I love purple. But um, I think there's some, maybe some nice cinnamide in here. There might be some type of peptides, ceramides. I can't remember for sure. But there's some other good ingredients in here besides just your hydration. Um, but I've really been enjoying that. And then on my neck, I've been using the City Beauty Invisicrate Body Balm. Now this is expensive. It retails for $60, but I have had this particular jar for four months and I did not pay full price for it. I got, I think I got it at like 40% off, but you can see I've still got a ton. I mean, you know, a five ounce jar is a good bit and I only put this on my neck and my decollete. Um, it's got kind of a clean almost fruity scent to it but it smells really good and like i said i was thinking about you know stopping using this because i didn't really i wasn't really sure that it was doing anything but when i saw those photos i was like no i'm gonna keep using that and everything that i put on my face now my vitamin c and my tretinoin i do not put in my eye area but everything else i put you know my other serums i put over my eyes my moisturizer I take it all down my neck onto my chest and then whatever's left on my hands I just rub into the backs of my hands and it has helped um, the backs of my hands to look a little bit less old as well and then I have been using this Olay Regenerous Ultra Rich this is just like a little trial size jar um, this was like 12 or 13 dollars this is um, a heavier moisturizer than the one in the purple jar it was just a little too heavy for my face. I felt a little bit greasy when I woke up in the morning. But once I bump up my tretinoin, if I notice my skin getting drier or as we really get into winter here, it's still been some days we've had 60 and 70 degree days, so it's not been super cold and dry yet. I would definitely try this. Or if you have really dry skin, I think this would probably be good for you. I've got just a teensy bit left. Um, I'm probably not going to repurchase this right now unless I need to. You know, like I said, if my skin gets more dry, I've got another eye cream coming that um, a couple of different YouTubers have recommended, so I'm going to give it a shot. But if you have dry skin, I think you would like this. It's super thick. And that is, that is pretty much it, except for twice a week. I do go in with a chemical exfoliator. Now, I do not use, on the nights that I use this, I don't use my tretinoin because that's too many irritating ingredi ingredients all at one time on your skin. So the nights that I use this, I don't use my tretinoin, but I do all my other stuff. This is from Good Molecules. It's their overnight exfoliating treatment. It's got AHA and BHA, and this helps to, you know, 
exfoliate that dead skin just chemically not not manually and then it helps to clear clogged pores and I really saw a huge difference the first week that I used this or might have been two weeks I might have for the first two weeks I might have used this three times a week and then I bumped it down to once a week but once a week wasn't quite enough so I've been using this twice a week I do like a Wednesday Saturday or something um but I put this on as my the nights that I do this, this is my first step at night. This retails for like $6. It's an ounce. It does sting a little bit and it does kind of have a chemically smell. But I noticed when I, I always have had, or for a long time, lots of blackheads on my nose and then right here in my chin area. And this really keeps those pores unclogged. Like I said, it does sting a little bit. Um, I can put it on my neck. It doesn't really irritate me, but you want to let this dry completely before you put any of your other serums on because you can follow this up with it. Your like my Matrixel Sense 6, I use this, and then my moisturizer on the nights that I use this. I just don't do my tretinoin. Um, like I said, too many irritating ingredients, but twice a week I use that to help keep my pores unclogged. And that is everything that I've been using. It seems like a lot when I'm sitting here talking about it, but really... What have I got, like five steps in the morning? If I count, uh, one, two, three. If I count my little hydrating mist and then at night, I've just got like three steps. Well, if you, you could count four if you talk about two different moisturizers because this only goes on my neck and my chest. I don't put this on my face. And I would not use this one in the morning because it does not play well under makeup. It will peel up. But everything else that I use in the morning plays well under your makeup. But that's everything that I have been doing. I have been super pleased with my results. Um, and I just, I can't wait to see kind of what happens in the future. I probably won't do another one of these, you know, kind of skincare updates until maybe a year in. Just to, you know, not bombard you with my same skincare routine over and over. And I'll let y'all know how I like the new eye cream. It's from Sukiyata Suhara. It's so the urea eye cream. I'm just waiting on it to be delivered. I'm going to give that a try. But so far, I've been super pleased with my results. Um, thanks so much for coming by and hanging out with me today. On Sunday, we should have something fun, you know, play with some makeup. And I will see you guys in my next one. And I just, again, I thank y'all so much. Y'all are all so sweet with your sweet comments and all of that stuff. I just love it. Y'all are the, the sweetest bunch of subscribers in the whole wide world. I appreciate you so much for hanging out with me and watching. And I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye, y'all.